Hey y'all, it's Andrea here at VW Family Farm. It is a gorgeous day out here. It's a good day to be out here with the cows in the cow pasture. They're just munching, lots of spring sounds, birds everywhere, things blooming. It's just a really, really great time of year. Spring is just a really awesome time on a farm as well as anywhere. But uh, I just thought we'd take you around today and show you some of our favorite sights and sounds of spring. There's so many things blooming. Pollinators are coming out of their hives and um, just getting busy for the spring and summer, starting to bring in that pollen and nectar and things, as well as there's beautiful flowers blooming, fruit trees blooming everywhere babies being born there's just it's it's a lively place this time of year and it is a wonderful wonderful place so i just thought i would show you some of our favorite things here on the farm one thing is there's so much color on the farm this time of year from from the peach trees on the farm road coming in to the um, cover crops we planted in the garden to look at all this beautiful clover out here in the field just blooming everywhere you look Pretty much the number one thing people think of when they think of spring on a farm is babies. And it's no different here. There's babies being born all the time in the spring. Um, from baby chicks to we're out here with the cows right now. We've got multiple baby calves out here. New life on a farm is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, it's just something we look forward to. It's something we never take for granted. There could always be problems. So anytime that you have a healthy baby hit the ground, is it's just the miracle of life honestly One thing that's great about spring and summer is there is a lot of work, but we have a lot of work here in the winter as well. And the work kind of changes. That's the wonderful thing about this type of work is that it's always changing. It's not the same thing 365 days a year. For instance, you can see the cows munching and grazing behind me. The grazing and the rotational moving starts, but the putting out hay and the muddy 
work like that, um, the cold, cold days and the dark days of winter, those are behind us for a while. Now when those come again, those are a welcome sight too because that kind of means a break in the routine, cooler weather, things like that. But coming out of winter, it feels glorious to be out here working in the sunshine, maybe even sweat a little bit and move some cows around rather than freezing and short days of not much sunshine and long nights. The long days, the crickets chirping, all that is such a welcome sight in the spring. So that does it for today. That is a little glimpse of spring here on the farm. And I did want to mention, uh, Emily put this on Instagram. It's a shirt that was sent to me i love it so much it says make burgers beef again and as a cattle farmer what more fitting shirt um, i'm gonna put down below where you can get this shirt if you're interested it's super comfy uh, it's a sweatshirt so i'm wearing it as much as i can right now because the weather is warming up every day and it won't be long that it's going to be t-shirt weather here every day so uh, but she's got lots of t-shirts uh, her site is amandaradke.com i'm going to put it down below and there is actually a coupon code i'm going to put down below as well I I'm not gonna say what I think it is because I've forgotten, but I'm gonna put it down there. You can type that in and save yourself some money. We will see you guys on the next video. I hope spring is going spectacular for you guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Get outside and just, if nothing else, just sit outside and drink your morning coffee and enjoy the sights and sounds and the warmer air. And I hope you are just doing fantastic. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching and God bless. So we went ahead and got this newest mama up. It's the black white face number. 35. And we're pretty sure she's got mastitis. I started milking out um, both quarters on her left side here. This back one, we can zoom in right down there. There's some clots down there. Looks like a lot of colostrum in it, but it is also clotted. That might be a little bit of mastitis, but what I'm really concerned about is in this quarter. Easy, girl. That's almost just a almost clear brown liquid coming out. That's not normal. So we're going to treat her and uh, see if we can knock this out before it gets too bad. <laughs>